Hey guys! If you're new, welcome. If you're already part of the fam, welcome back. And welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing 10 reasons to not get guinea pigs. Last week we did 10 reasons to get guinea pigs. I recommend you watch that first. Link is in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's in a minute, right after the shout outs. Pigs are expensive. It might seem like just a little bit of money when you're buying them, but a little bit of money adds up and it can add up to hundreds of dollars. The cage alone can be up to $300 and that's before you even add the bedding, the Heidi's and the food. But sometimes you can find some pretty good deals. Actually, a couple of days ago, I found this Timothy Hay TP ID that Coco loves. It's edible and only $10 at Petco. <music> Guinea pigs are very messy. It's not that messy right now because I just vacuumed a couple of days ago, but they kick so much poop, bedding, and food out of their cage that you have to vacuum and sweep constantly. That's actually why I keep Coco's cage on this stool because it makes it easier to vacuum and clean. I highly recommend. Pigs can be very loud whenever they want food or when they snore. Yes, some guinea pigs, including Coco, do snore. Guinea pigs aren't always loud, but chances are when they are allowed, it'll most likely be the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep. Guinea pigs shed a lot. You might not notice it at first, but when you're doing laundry, you can clearly see it will get all over your clothes. Guinea pig hair just gets everywhere. Vacation? <laughs> That's a good one. Sure, guinea pigs can stay by themselves for one or two nights with a lot of food and water. But if you're planning to go on like a week long vacation, good luck finding a pet sitter. And there's pet hair all over my things. But anyway, I don't know where you live, but where I live it can be kind of hard to find a pet sitter, so good luck. Before we continue, so many of you guys watching aren't subscribed. I hope you enjoy my videos, and if you do, why not subscribe for more? It would mean so much to me if even a quarter of you guys could become part of the JJ and Coco fam. Now let's get right back into the video. Cleaning the cage. This can be a very short process or a very long process. It can take anywhere between 20 minutes and two and a half hours. First, you take out the water bottle. Then the Heidi's, which sometimes scares Coco because she has no idea where her Heidi's are going. They're just all disappearing. But yeah, it's very confusing for her. Then you unclip and remove the hay rack. And then take out the food bowl. And I'm not gonna show the rest because it is kind of a long process. But if you want me to do a video where I show you how to clean a guinea pig cage, then make sure to comment cage cleaning video down below and I'll see what I can do. Guinea pigs are big responsibilities. To those of you who say guinea pigs don't need that much care or attention because they're only rodents, give them a cage and pellets and they'll be fine. You're so wrong. You need to feed them, clean their cage, keep their area clean, groom them, clean them, clip their nails, change their bedding. Make sure they get enough exercise, pay for vet visits, and buy them a good size cage. Now do you think they're not big responsibilities? 
You love your piggies so much, it's absolutely awful when they eventually pass on. You've probably seen this white albino guinea pig in some of my videos. Well, her name was Peanut, and she passed away last April, so I can tell you firsthand that it is heartbreaking. Now, this isn't really a reason not to get guinea pigs, because they are great pets during their lifetime, but I still felt like I should mention it. Guinea pigs need a lot of attention. Picture this. It's a Friday night, the week is finally over, so you decide to sit down on the couch, make yourself a bowl of ice cream, and start watching some Netflix. All is well, until your guinea pig starts squealing. So what do you do? You turn off the TV, set down the ice cream, get off the couch, and go calm down your guinea pig. Pet them, feed them, play with them, whatever. And then once your guinea pig is calmed down, you can go back to sitting on the couch with your ice cream and your Netflix. For a little while. Until it happens again. So you drop everything. Go, calm down your guinea pig again, pet them, feed them, whole thing, then you can go back. But then it keeps happening and keeps happening and then keeps happening until eventually you just say screw it and end up spending the evening with your guinea pig. Now this isn't bad, but sometimes you just want to watch some TV. Am I right or am I right? Last but not least, all of the above. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and hit the big red subscribe icon down below to join the JJ and Coco family. And why not turn on notifications while you're at it so that you're always notified whenever I upload a new video. As always, the first five comments get shout outs in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!